welcome to the High School Football Pigskin Show. I'm your host, Michael Anderson. This week's game is between Grayson and McKeecher. They're both very, very good teams. Um, they're both state championship contenders. Um, this is going to be a really tough game. I know it's early in the season, but um, both teams are really, really good. This week, I think I'll pick Grayson over McKeecher. I think Grayson uh, is a little bit better, and I think um, they'll come real strong. So I'm picking Grayson over McKeecher. Ah, oh, it's good to be back at McKeecher. When I arrived at this high school football stadium, it was a great high school atmosphere. Just watch how the players warm up.
Grayson won the toss but declined. So Grayson received the ball. Okay folks, let's get started. This football game is pretty much a defensive football game. Grayson's first possession did not result in first down, so they were forced to punt the ball. After the Grayson punt, the Keatron takes possession. And just like Grayson, they eventually had to punt the ball. I tell you what folks, on the Keatron's first punt, that Grayson returner puts on the show and shakes and bakes up the field. On Grayson's next possession, they eventually had to punt the ball. On McKeechee's next possession and thrown out pass, Grayson's outstanding defensive back shows you how to shut it down. The kitchen would eventually punt the ball. After the kitchen punt, Grayson takes possession and their quarterback throws a missile downfield to a wide open receiver for a huge gain. Grayson would eventually move the ball down the field for a Grayson touchdown and the extra punt would be good. However, the Keatron's stout defense will make them earn every inch and every yard. Watch how it unfolds. After the Grayson kickoff, McEachern takes position, and their elite quarterback throws a dart down the field to a McEachern receiver, but eventually, McEachern would have to punt the ball. After the McEachern punt, Grayson takes possession, but they would eventually have to punt the ball. During the punt, that McEachern receiver catches the ball, puts the afterburners on, goes up the sideline for a McEachern touchdown. And the extra point was good. During the McEachern kickoff, horse operations returner shakes and makes his way up the field. During Grayson's same possession, watch how they methodically move the ball down the field to attempt a long field goal, which was no good.
During the kitchen's next possession, they are forced to punt the ball. So Grayson takes possession. Watch how Grayson methodically moves the ball down the field despite keeping stout defense for an eventual field goal, which was good. Well, folks, the halftime score was 10 to 7 with Grayson up. Get ready, fasten your seatbelts for a barn burner of a second half. After halftime, the kitchen takes possession, but they're eventually forced to punt the ball. After exchange of possessions between football teams, the kitchen again has possession and is forced to punt the ball. Grayson's returner has a huge game. However, there was a penalty on the play so it's coming back. During the same Grayson possession, they eventually were forced to punt the ball. Folks, we're still in the third quarter, and on the same McEachin possession, the quarterback throws a dart downfield to a McEachin receiver. From the same McEachin possession, watch how they try to move the ball up the field against that stout Grayson defense. During the same McEachin possession, Grayson employs a major blitz package and sacks McEachin's quarterback. It's the end of the third quarter. Players, tighten your chin straps. It's gut check time. This is where the game gets really exciting. After McEachin's punt, Grayson takes possession. And that quarterback throws a dart across the middle. He ricochets off the Grayson receiver. And McEachin intercepts the ball and takes it to the house for a McEachin touchdown. The extra point was no good. During the McEachin kickoff, Grayson fumbles. And McEachin recovers deep in Grayson's territory. McEachin was unable to score any points and turn the ball over on downs. Grayson takes possession, but eventually they have to punt the ball to McEachin. McEachin's punt returner almost turns the ball over on the punt. On the same McEachin possession, they eventually punted the ball to Grayson. In the same Grayson possession, 
Watch how they move the ball down the field despite Nikita's stout defense for an eventual field goal, which ties the game 13 all. After the Grayson kickoff, McEachern takes possession. I've said a million times, great players make plays during crunch time. That's exactly what happened. McEachern drops back, throws a long, long pass, and Grayson intercepts the ball. Watch Grayson's last drive, which resulted in a field goal, which won them the football game. Wow, what a great game. I'd like to start off by thanking the McEachern Athletic Department for allowing me to be able to cover this game. Um, this particular football game to me was a battle of titans. I think that McEachern uh, had an opportunity to uh, take the lead or at least build on the lead rather uh, during that kickoff uh, to uh, Grayson when they fumbled the ball but they didn't score any points. Um, I think McEachern has a real good football team this year. They should not uh, let their head hang low because this is early in the season so there's plenty of football left. Grayson on the other hand they obviously are a very good football team and uh, you know they stepped up to the plate and uh, they, they scored the necessary points to win the football game. Hats off to them. Hats off to both coaching staffs, McEachern and Grayson. A very enjoyable game. By the way, uh, I did notice a, a number of football games were, you know, uh, be suspended or postponed due to the uh, tropical depression from the hurricane. So it was good to see that the, most of the Metro Atlanta uh, games uh, went on as planned. Um, I understand there's a number of games today throughout the state due to the storm. Well, that's all I have, folks. Until next time, take care and God bless. Take me to your football game.